everybody and welcome back. Today I was inspired to do a kind of like GQ style. That's what like my sister Vanessa taught me. It's like their, their top 10 must haves. So these are my top 10 must haves, 10 things that make me me, 10 things that you'll almost always see me with. And having these things around me just like makes me feel alive. It makes me feel safe and comfortable. Some of them are fun. Some of them are just like essential daily items. And some of them are just like what makes life more convenient and just a little bit more glamorous for me. So if you're interested, keep on watching. Just a little fun thing about this video. I feel super duper glamorous. I had absolutely no reason to dress up this much. I got this dress from my friend Nat. It's from Forever 21. I have these really pretty earrings on by Park Clean by Suzanne. And our hair and makeup's done. We're gonna take photos later. I just feel super duper gorgeous in this. So just wanted to be able to say that. So the first thing that I'll say, which is one of my 10 essential items, is my phone, which I actually record my videos on so you won't be able to see it. But obviously I'm very active and connected on social media. I use it for video filming, for photo taking, of course messaging friends, all that good stuff. So not much explanation needed. Pretty much I always have my phone on me. There's not like anything, like no glamorous case to it. It's just what I use for you know, my, my meditation app, tracking my meals, tracking my workouts. So definitely number one, my phone. The second item, and not that these are in any order, but I, for me at least, it, it would be coffee. And I didn't have, like I already had my coffee today, but I wanted to show you one of my favorite coffee mugs, which my sister gave me when she asked me to be her maid of honor. So this is usually what I have my cup of coffee in in the morning. I figured I would just kind of say that I drink my coffee black, 99.9% .9 of the time and I have the McCafe brand because to me that is just like the most delicious one. I also really love the Nitro Cold Brew from Starbucks. That one is delicious. Item number three that I cannot live without would be scrunchies or hair ties. I always am like one of those people who has something on my wrist or in my purse with me just because when I get hot, I don't want my hair to be on me or touching me and sometimes I'll just want to put my hair up. It just gives me a more comfy, cozy vibe if my hair is in my face, whatever it is, I'll put my hair up. And most recently, I've fallen in love with Stitching Sunshine Scrunchies. As you probably know, this is our scrunchie trio that we created in support of the Children's Wish Foundation, which is still available. So if you would like to order yours, go ahead, send me a message or an email and we would love to process your order. Item number four is chapstick. I have really dry lips and I know that at some point chapstick just like you kind of get addicted to it and I would definitely say that I'm probably addicted to it especially in the winter time when it is so dry like I can't focus if I feel that my lips need some moisture or just some some lubricant some chapstick so I pretty much always will be moving this around from purse to purse whatever purse I have even if I have lipstick on or lip gloss I'll still pack this because I know at some point if I were to take the lipstick off, I'm gonna want some moisture on my lips. So I have the Blistex kind in mint. Yeah, this is like what my dad always had. So I've just kind of like taken after him and I keep chapstick with me wherever I go. Item number five, we're gonna go into the makeup products now. And the first one I chose to talk about is concealer. I just will always have random breakouts. Like I don't typically have cystic acne. I don't have hormonal acne or anything like that. I just get your occasional breakout when I try a product that isn't good for my skin or I'm not eating the greatest. Like even, you can't really see right now, but I have a little bit of a breakout. And it just makes me feel so much more comfortable when I have my concealer with me in my purse. If I need to touch up just to cover up these things, it just provides that extra layer of coverage, literally. Um, just so I'm not feeling like, oh, my face is red and discolored. So I always keep chapstick with, or oh, we just talked about chapstick, sorry. So I always keep concealer with me, whether or not I'm experiencing a breakout, because you just never know when they're gonna come along. And this one is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Item number six is mascara. If I wear no makeup at all, the one thing that I would apply first, if I absolutely could only choose one thing, would be mascara. I don't get my eyelashes done. One time I did, it kind of ruined my lashes. So I just stick with the Maybelline Falsies mascara. It just gives me that extra little bit of like, mm. and obviously this one's kind of like at the end of the tube. So you might be able to see like 
they look pretty good today actually but i could probably get a new one this one can probably afford to be replaced but um it's just it's the one thing that i wear it just adds that extra element of like femininity to my look and i i just i don't i don't ever go anywhere without it so my mascara so item number seven and the last makeup related item is bronzer so this is definitely like the third one that i would say i put on i'll always put on mascara and then next to it would be concealer and then if i had to pick a third item bronzer just because i love being tanned i have more olivey skin and i love how just by adding bronzer it already gives you an extra level of dimension to your look so the two that i use typically i'll use the benefit hula bronzer to contour my cheeks and my face and then i'll use the Too faced chocolate soleil bronzer um, for bronzing and just like brightening i'll put it literally honestly around my my forehead my cheeks under my chin but then i'll just like go all over my upper body my shoulders just to really like make me feel like i'm a bronze goddess so bronzer item number seven that i can't live without item number eight which is just really practical is a wallet so i was like if i had to get rid of all of my purses that's okay although don't tell them i said that we still we're still gonna keep those babies um, would be my wallet i always want to have my wallet with me even if i'm not like purchasing anything if i'm not you know doing anything in particular i still want to have like my id with me my my credit card a little bit of cash just because you never know what situation you're gonna be in i haven't been in a situation where i'm like oh my god i don't have my wallet and i need it but um it's just not a situation i want to be caught in so this wallet is from coach i spent a pretty penny on it probably three years ago i've had this for and it is still in like perfect condition i love i just love the way it looks it's so just like glistening and every time I've been there over the last three years, I've not found one I love more than this. And obviously it's a wallet, right? It holds all of your, your money, your information. If you have money, you know, I think we're, we're playing with just like a $20 bill and a half filled out McDonald's card, but I love having it with me and I just love the style of this one. So that is item number, is this number eight? Number eight, number eight. Item number nine that you will almost always see me with, I'm gonna try and put this up in the best way that I can, are my little sparkly earrings. So like I said, I already, I got some dangly ones on today because we're a little bit extra glam. But I always have these tiny studs that aren't just like simple studs, they always have a little bit of sparkles. This one has one of my sparkles missing on it. And then I also have these ones, these are like my silver pair, this is my gold pair. I also have several others of these in my makeup case, but Typically, whether I'm at work, whether I'm going to work out, go to hang out with friends, date night, I'll always have a pair of these earrings on, unless if I'm wearing more glamorous earrings. These are like my everyday earrings. Um, they might be a little bit glam for some people, but this is typically like my lowest level of like glittery that I will go when it comes to earrings. And they just make me feel like I'm, again, just a little bit more glamorous on the daily. Even when I'm not like dressing up or going out anywhere, I love to wear my sparkly studded earrings. And the last item that I wanted to mention, which is my 10th item that I could not live without, that I absolutely just use every single day and I recommend everybody to have one, is my journal, notebook, whatever you wanna call it. This one is just a spiral notebook with blank pages that I use for my to-do list, I use for thoughts, notes, brainstorming and like I've said so many times I put my affirmations on the front of my notebook so that way before I open it up in the morning I'm able to look at them read them visualize them so that way they can you know they can be um, they can come to fruition in my life so I do highly recommend it doesn't matter where you get it from you could get it from the dollar store like I said this one is from indigo I'm pretty sure it was a gift um, and I do think it's a little bit fancy because on the front it says BRB doing great things. How inspirational is that? But definitely writing down your thoughts in the morning and then journaling on any additional prompts, things that you might want to just think a little bit more deeply about. So beneficial to write things down so that way they're not scattered all the way in your brain. You can release them on paper and then look at them from, you know, for in the future from the past, right? Just to see like, what were you going through on those days and what ideas did you have? And I think it's just a really valuable thing to always keep around and it really does help me just stay on track. And I do think it's the reason why I stay like clear, calm and successful on a daily basis. So item number 10 is a journal. 
those are my top 10 items that I can't live without. I hope that you enjoyed this video and who knows, maybe you have some of the same top 10 items. Everyone is different and these are just some things that make me who I am. They're a little bit more glamorous, beauty based, mindset based, all that good stuff. These are things that I absolutely love and can't live without. If you want to connect with me more, I'll leave my social media down below. As always, if you could like and subscribe to this channel, I would appreciate it. And hopefully we can make our goals and dreams come true for the rest of 2020 together. Thanks so much and have a great day. Bye.